Hi, this is Dennis Dodd from CBS Sportsline here at Big East Media Days in beautiful Newport, Rhode Island. First time I've been here, it's fantastic. Uh, the subject here is the Big East. I think we're the best up and coming leagues in the country. We talked about that earlier in the year on one of these videos. This year is going to be great. They go at least four deep with West Virginia, Louisville, Rutgers, and I think the, the sleeper of the teams in the league is South Florida. They upset West Virginia last year, and they're going to have a heck of a team. Might have the best collection of athletes in the Big East. Of course, Louisville is the defending champion. Uh, West Virginia just came out as favored to win the conference this year. They've got two Heisman candidates and Steve Slayton and the quarterback, Patrick White. In a very short period of time, this league has become a powerhouse. I was talking to, uh, to Rutgers coach Greg Schiano at the media days here a couple of minutes ago, and I said, isn't it funny how things change? Two years ago, he was sitting at one of these tables, and he has a hard time getting interviewed. Now he's like the bell of the ball. Everybody's all over him and talking about his new house. He's got a Heisman Trophy candidate in Ray Rice, a heartbeat away from the national championship and the Big East title last year. So that shows you how much things can change. The point being that the three years ago, this league was left for dead. They were on the clock in the BCS. In fact, at that point, the BCS put in a, a measuring stick. Uh, average finish had to finish above 12. Uh, any BCS league had to finish above 12 in the, uh, in the final BCS standings over a four-year average or else be subject to review. I think that's laughable now for the Big East. But just to go over things in the Big East this year, uh, we had a, a luncheon the Thursday afternoon of the Louisville-West Virginia game last year, the, I think the, the landmark game in the, in the league to that point. Things were going well. Since that point, we've had probably one of the games of the year, Louisville beating West Virginia. The league goes on to go 5-0 and in bowls. We talked about the Heisman candidates. Uh, we talked about the achievements, but now they're getting national respect. West Virginia is going to start in the top five. Louisville likely in the top 10. Rutgers in the top 15. And South Florida, I think, is going to make some top 25s this year. So that is something to look for in the Big East this year. A lot going on here in Newport. This is Dennis Dodd for CBS Sportsline.